Welcome to one of the last parts of my Moving Out Alone series. I cannot believe it's already been two months of me putting together my apartment. I've done so many of these videos and they've been so fun to film. So I'm actually really sad that this series is coming to an end, but I'm literally finishing up with my apartment. Like I'm gonna be done so soon. In this video, I went to Ikea for like the seventh time, spent so much money and then put together all the remaining furniture and just put the final touches on my apartment because it's gonna be pretty much done. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Definitely follow my other social medias to see more of my process in putting together my apartment. I love how it's coming out though. This has always been like my dream to put everything together and decorate how I want to. So let's get started into the Ikea vlog. This is probably the last one you're gonna see for a while. Hopefully, because I've spent way too much money. Here is the couch. Finally getting it in green. I'm sure about this one. Yeah, I'm sure. White pillows. These are cute. What are they for? Pasta rice. Yes. We'll get a tall one, we'll get this medium size, and we'll get a small one. So cute, I'm so excited for my kitchen. Okay, since I'm getting a mini version of the shelf, I'm gonna get another basket. from another expensive trip to Ikea. I have this huge pile behind me. The main thing I went to Ikea for was my couch. Hopefully it's not too hard to build. I also have a few boxes which has another bookshelf. I got some patio chairs that are out on my balcony and I also got a table to build for my balcony as well. And then I got cute stuff. I got four of these glass bottles with this cork. I was thinking these would be really cute in my pantry or my fridge. I could keep rice, pasta. They're just so like nice looking. It'll make my kitchen look even cuter. I got four of these. They are so cute. Next, I got a bunch of these containers. They're glass. They have a lid on the top. This reminds me of like a cookie jar. I don't know what I'm going to put in these either. Maybe flour. I don't know, but they're so cute. So I'm going to have to buy stuff specifically for these. I got this size. It's a little mini one. This one. And then I got a tall one. And then I got two pillows. I was thinking to put these on my couch or on the chairs on my balcony. I haven't decided yet. And then I got this cutting board. I'm so excited. I've always wanted a nice wooden cutting board. This one's really cute. I feel like it's just gonna look so good in pictures too. And then the last thing I got is this basket. I got another one. You guys know I have three of these already on my tall bookshelf and on my new bookshelf I got one. I just love when they're all coordinating. Yeah, that is my Ikea haul. A lot of good stuff, but it was so expensive. I mean majority was the couch, but let's start putting stuff together. I'm gonna start with the couch and then I'm gonna do the bookshelf and then I'm gonna set up my balcony. Here are my boxes for my couch. I have a lot to put together. Let's get started. next step. How the fuck am I gonna do a two-person step with just me? There's no one else here. I can do it. We got it. I need a break. 
can't do this. This is the most annoying thing ever. Like I've built my bed frame, my bookshelf, my bedside tables, my kitchen table, my kitchen chairs, my desk chair, my desk. And this couch is the worst thing ever. I just need a break. I'm getting so frustrated. I turn on my AC because it's so hot. My back hurts like so bad and I'm starving. So I made a bagel. I cooked some mushrooms with some garlic and I also made veggie sausage. I'm gonna enjoy this and take a break for 15 minutes. hardest thing I've had to put together out of all the Ikea furniture in this series. I was literally about to give up, but I was like, you know what? Let's push through. We can do it. I can get it done. And I did it. The color of it, the size of it is perfect. <laughs> was kind of the last thing I wanted to get. One, because I didn't really think I would sit on it that often. I have my bed, kitchen table, and a desk. I also wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. So I wanted to put everything in my apartment and then get my couch last if I could fit one. But I'm so glad I got one. Like just looking at this, it totally brings my apartment together. I know when people come over and they wanna sleep over, then they could sleep on the couch, you know what I mean? It's really nice, it's actually really comfy. I love the color. I'm so glad I went with the green. I think I'm gonna use this a lot more than I thought. All right, so next we're gonna work on the bookshelf. So this is a mini version of this one, so it's only gonna come up to here, which I feel like is perfect. I got two boxes, we're gonna do it. Okay, so here's the finished bookshelf. It looks so good. I love the size of it, how it's only three shelves. So I'm gonna put this right here on this wall. My desk is right here and then my couch. So I'm gonna put it right here. It literally fits perfectly on this wall. I love it. I think it looks so good. So for this shelf, my plan is I'm gonna put all my art stuff in it. I have my desk full of stuff and I feel like to organize it better, I wanna put my canvases, my notebooks, my sketchbooks, all of that on this shelf. I also got some of these drawer organizers and I think I'm gonna put them on the shelf and just organize like my paints or something. I got a big size and I got this medium size. So I could put like one up here, one of these small ones. I also got this basket to match the ones on that shelf so I'm gonna put this on here as well I just feel like that would look so cute so I'm so excited I'm gonna put all my art stuff on this so like over here I have all these tubes of oil paint that I usually just keep in a bag but now I can take these and I can put them in one of these bins and just have my oil paint out like that I feel like that'll be so nice and easy so I could just take one of these trays over to the table and work on my art over there or at my desk That looks so cute. All right, so I'm gonna continue filling it up, but this is kind of the idea of it. I think this is gonna be perfect for me. So at the top, I started putting my oil paint. There's a lot of stuff I use when I oil paint, so I put everything in its own bin. This little display looks nice. I have my sketchbook, watercolor notebook, and then a basket. I'll fill these two shelves up as I go and clean out my desk. But at the bottom, I put canvases. I've been needing like a new place for them. I just think it's coming together so cute, and I can't believe it fit literally perfect on this wall. Like, look at this. It couldn't have fit better, honestly. Like, it's so perfect. 
exhausted. I've been building furniture all day, putting everything together. Next, I'm gonna work on my patio set. Those pillows back there are gonna go on the chairs outside. I had a tough time finding a nice patio set because I wanna sit out on my balcony, edit my videos, drink my coffee, but I wanted it to be comfy enough to where I would sit out there for a while. So I found two chairs, they're pretty comfy. I got a really good deal on them. I got them for 45 each. And then the table that I wanted was sold out, so I ended up getting this one. So it looks like this. It's more for plants, like a little plant holder. I'm thinking I could just set my coffee on it, have it like next to me as a little side table, and then once I get an actual table, have that instead, and this like on the side to hold plants. So it's gonna look like this. Alright guys, this was by far the easiest thing I've built so far. It came out so good. So I'm gonna put plants on the bottom and then at the top it has like another tray. So when I'm sitting outside, I could set my coffee on it and it was pretty cheap. I think this was like $25, so. So I'm gonna set this stuff up, but then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks in the morning. these pillows too, which I'm either going to keep on this couch or on the patio chairs. I don't know if it really goes with this couch. I might just put these on the patio to be honest. They seem really comfy though. All right, so here's what my balcony looks like. I have my two chairs and my table that I built, and then I put my two pillows on there as well. Super comfy, a nice setup. When I find a table, then I'll probably put that out there too, and then just use that middle table for plants. But it looks nice, and I'm excited to start sitting on my balcony now that I have furniture out there. Okay, so next I'm gonna start decorating. So I have this neon sign I'm gonna put on the wall right there in that little opening that I've left. I bought batteries. Batteries are expensive. And I'm gonna put these in so that hopefully this works still. I've had it for a while. I bought this on Amazon if you guys were curious and I loved having it in my room. <gasps> Wait, it kinda goes off. There we go. Okay, cute. This is gonna look so cute. All right, so I'm gonna put this in that empty spot as I said. It's so cute! So I also decided to hang two framed pictures up on my wall. So I have this one, which has two of my pieces I did in high school. I just think it's cute. And I put it in the kitchen because I feel like it just fits perfectly. I also decided to hang my YouTube plaque. I think I'm gonna put pictures around it so it's not just this on the wall. But I love it, it looks so nice here and I definitely wanted to have like a spot for it. So I have a couple more things I wanna hang on my wall. First I have all these stickers that were hanging on the wall in my room. These are so cute. I got these all from Etsy. I used to draw all these eyes and hang them on my wall as well, so I'm gonna do that too. I think that'll look super good. I have a couple fake flowers I kind of want to put up as well, and then I definitely want to hang up this poster too. I think I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, I also have this drawing. I also need to print more pictures. I meant to order more, but so once I do that, then I'll hang those up as well. So I think those posters look good over there. And then above my couch, I'm definitely gonna need to put something on this wall. I wanna put up my own artwork, like framed in the middle. I think that'd be cute. And then maybe pictures around it. So these are the ones that I have left. I think I'm gonna wait until I have my pictures too and put them all up at once. But these are all so, so cute. So I'm excited to decorate with those. So that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying until the end. I loved filming this video so much and I'm so excited for my upcoming ones. I'm not done with this apartment series I'm definitely still gonna do an apartment tour and maybe I'll add something else before that as well thank you guys so much for watching all of these apartment videos it's been so much fun like this is definitely my favorite series I've done on my channel it's such a big step for me and I've been so much happier living by myself I cannot wait to continue making YouTube videos for you guys I am so incredibly grateful for this job to have you guys as my supporters because this would not be possible without you so thank you for watching make sure to follow my other social medias. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys! Mwah.